Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. And I'm standing in front of one of my paintings, well two of them to be exact. This one's called A Woman Sleeping and Dreaming. And this one's just an abstract piece that uh, I did years ago. Okay guys, I'm going to talk about a subject today that I'm always scared to talk about because it, it often brings a lot of uh, reaction. Okay, and the question was given to me this. Mark, what price should I sell my paintings at? Boy, oh boy. Now that's a question I really don't like to get too often. Because it's such a touchy subject. Because every artist has got their idea of what they should get. Now, I hear it all the time. You know, uh, if I sell it for less, you know, I'd get more money flipping burgers and McDonald's. Uh, my, my things are worth more, you know, my mother and my father and my friends tell me that I'm brilliant, therefore my paintings are worth a lot more. And I hear it all the time, you know, and I get artists coming to the gallery. Now you've got to understand, I've got to wear two hats. I know what it's like as an artist, and I know how disappointing it is to put your paintings out there at a certain price because you believe they're worth a lot of money, and nobody is prepared to pay for them. And to sell them, you have to virtually drop the price by half or even more. Now, what do I think about all of that? Well, look, this is the market. If you're a professional artist and you put a price on your painting, you then enter into the marketplace and the market rules. If the market doesn't want it and the market won't pay the price, it doesn't matter what you do, it won't make any difference. So you've got to ask yourself, what have I got to do differently that gets my work out there? Okay, we're going to get to that. Next thing, people have different formulas for pricing their paintings. Now I know there's ones out there who believe in, uh, you know, the price per square inch. They give a, a price and then they measure the painting. Uh, well, it's a, I don't like that one at all. I don't like that one at all because not every painting is a great painting. Some paintings are better than others. Some paintings look better than others. Some paintings are better finished than others. And artists know themselves that not every painting they do is fantastic. So then how can you make it that it's price per square inch? Because we all have good days and we all have bad days. So I just throw that one out straight away. I think the one that I came to that I used as much as I possibly could was that I just worked out how much I spent in materials, uh, I took uh, so many hours to do it, and then I tried to put a profit on top and sell it at that and hope that it was work. This is such not a, a, uh, a, a science that works really well. So, but then again, you get other people who once they've got known into the market and once they start to sell into the market, their prices begin to rise. So, this is my formula and this is what I say to everybody. If you're unknown, you're unknown. Therefore, it doesn't matter how brilliant your family and friends say you are, unless they're going to buy the paintings and nine times out of ten they don't. It doesn't matter what they say, it matters what the market says. And if the market says your prices are too high, then your prices are too high. If it means in the beginning of your career, in the first five to ten years, and that's how long it takes to get established, my friends, you've got to sell your paintings at a lower price to get them onto the walls of strangers, that's what you have to do. The key and the, the, the whole process here is to do one thing. The process in the beginning is to get your paintings onto the walls of strangers. It's not about getting the highest price you can get. It's about getting you out there. It's about getting your work onto the walls of collectors so they will begin to talk about your work and they will begin to promote you word of mouth amongst their friends. That is what you need. You see, it becomes brand recognition. You have to promote yourself. It's about self-promotion. You need to get known and dealers and galleries will not pick you up if you're unknown. Very often they won't. Uh, I do. I promote young people. But, you know, even promoting young people, I, I promote young people really hard. Some of the ones that I really think have got great talent, but still they're unknown and they don't sell and their prices are reasonable. So. 
you've got to understand the marketplace a little bit better. Okay, now think of it this way. If I told you, if you own an Apple iPhone, and you rec get brand recognition with the iPhone, that there's a phone here in the Philippines that's locally made, that's a third of the price of an Apple, and a better phone, does more, bigger camera, all that sort of thing. No matter what I tried to do, you will see the name of that phone, and you'll see the Apple phone, and you will always go to that. Why? You know it. You recognize it. It's a known brand. Artist, you've got to become a known brand. You've got to put yourself out there in a way that people will recognize you, will recognize your work. Now, I hope you heard what I said. They will recognize you. You are the brand. Your painting's not the brand. Now, we're people, I know that, and I hate this brand of a person being a brand, but I'm just trying to get a concept here to you. I think every artist should show their face when they put a painting up. I believe that. I believe it so much that I do it to my, for myself all the time. I keep saying to people, put your face up. Now, in the beginning, it's really, really hard, my friends. Me putting my face on my blog and painting beside it and doing that all the time, you have no idea how much negativity and criticism I receive for doing that. Oh boy, I got it washed back on me. Now people ignore it, they're used to it, they're used to seeing my face, so it doesn't create much problem. But I still get now and again, I get somebody say something. An interesting part, it's always a guy who says something, never a woman. So that's an interesting statistic for those who are into statistics. So what I'm saying is this, you've got to promote yourself. You've got to get yourself known. Now we have some people right now who have involved in this group and in our group here of people who listen to me, who are using videos, who are putting their faces on things, who are getting out there and it's working for them. And I also know that as they get their paintings onto the walls of strangers, so their prices will begin to rise. You see, I often think artists get it wrong. When you start out in a business, and when you put price on your painting, it makes it a business, you're not going to make a lot of money in the beginning. The first couple of years, you're not going to make any money out of it. For the first five years, you just got to pray that you break even out of it. And then once you get established, once you get known, once your face becomes known and they can recognize you as, oh, you're so-and-so, the artist, then your prices will begin to rise and how much you charge for your paintings won't be an issue because they'll get to the point where they'll nearly be embarrassing. It's only in the beginning where price is an option, a problem, because we're unknown and you've got to be known. Friends, honestly and truly, if I'd had this video and the blogs going back 20 odd years ago, now that wasn't invented then so we couldn't have it, it would have changed my art career totally. I would have been on that blog every single day of the week. I would have videoed every single day of the week. I would have live streamed into my studio so people could watch me paint. I tried to do that with World Art Camps. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Back in the early 2000s, my son and I started World Art Camps and the concept was to have live feed into the studio of the artist so you could watch them paint and the artist and, and the viewer could have feedback. Unfortunately, the platforms weren't good enough back then, but now we have it on Facebook. You have live feed, and you can have that when you're painting, you can be talking to people and relating to people and building that brand. You've got to build you as a brand, my friends. Now, I, I know a lot of artists get upset when I say that. It's not about the price at the beginning. It's about you getting you out there and people recognizing you and getting your paintings onto the walls of strangers, virtually at any cost. Now, I don't want you not to make money. I wouldn't do what I do every day of the week with videos and blogs if I didn't want artists to make money. But I'm also realistic enough to understand that this is a tough business. And if you're unknown, you're unknown. Now, I want that to ring through everyone's head so that they say, oh, the key here is not how much I'm charging for my paintings. The key here is me getting known so that strangers will buy my paintings and put them on their walls. 
that the key? That's what we want. You have to get known. And unfortunately, if you don't put your face on things, you won't get as known. You know, we recognize Picasso's face. We recognize Monet's face, Van Gogh's face, uh, Jackson Pollock's face, Andy Wartell's face, John Basquiat. We, all these people, we recognize their faces. Why? Because their face became the brand. That's what you've got to do, friends. I know this is a long video and I'm going to stop right now. I might talk about this again tomorrow, see what kind of feedback we get. Please let me know what you think. If you, if you disagree, let me know. I'm, I want to hear what you've got to say too. Because I'm seeing it from a gallery standpoint right now and that's why, how I sell paintings. Okay, friends, you have a great day. I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Galleria de las Islas. And you get out there and reach people and touch people and have a fabulous day, okay? And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.